Well hello guys, Pokeplay here and today we got another free for all battle. This was with uh, Luke aka Ambisol, Daniel aka um, BA2 I believe, and KD aka KD Jelly. Um, their other names which I said uh, are their, their Twitch names. And uh, well I asked on Twim Twimp Nights. <laughs> Nights chat if uh, they would like to do a free fall and they were all in for it so it is a really cool one at the end it is kind of close so uh, well let's just hop into it I hope you guys enjoy watching these because they're really cool to make and uh, I'm really planning on doing some more so uh, Katie and Daniel are leading off with uh, Go Goat and Reggie Rock which look really decimating really that uh, Reggie Rock is such a bulky Pokemon and uh, I lead off with my Crocodile and uh, Ambisol leads off with the Roselia and I know for a fact that I can't touch Roselia's because it's special defense is really monster so I went for a freeze dry on the um, <coughs> Gogo but that really didn't much uh, and really didn't much after the Horn Leech he did on the Reggie Rock and uh, well, Retrorock goes for power up punch on my Crogonal and that does a crap load of damage because it's super effective and a physical hit. And Crogonal has no defense. It has really, it has 30 base defense, it's just nothing. And really nothing. So that's the only problem with Crogonal. And uh, well, we got a lot of lefties uh, today, so <laughs> that is really annoying. And we got some lead sheet, so this would take a long time for you to watch, but I hope you guys can pull it through. So I go for a flash cannon on the retro rock because I want this thing dead, because I know it can KO me. And Go Goat goes for a bulk up. I was really hoping that it would go for a horn lead on the retro rock so it would die, so my crocodile could still be alive, but it didn't matter after all because uh, retro rock goes for a earthquake and my crocodile has left it, so he can take these things all day because it's immune to it so that's cool and left uh, earthquake does some good damage to rose and um, go goat so that's cool and we're all sitting here getting left to the leftovers recovery which is kind of taking a long time but it's cool because we're all walls right right now because i think go go get is the specially defensive bulk of wall and uh well, I'm especially defensive, Roselia is especially defensive, and I think Retrorock is physically defensive with an Assault System, is I think. So I go for a freeze to ride on a go -Goat. he nearly dies, really close. And go -Goat for goes for a horn leads on me, which I find a little bit strange, but it worked out. And uh, yeah, my, that's my Kryogonon down, so that's the first Pokemon down in this match. Uh, which took three turns, which is pretty long for a free-for-all. And the Roselia kills the uh, Gogot with the Sludge Bomb, which is pr pretty surprising because Gogot is pretty bulky in its special defense. And um, the Retro Rock goes for a uh, Rock Slide on the Roselia because we. And now we got three Pokemon down in one turn, so that's really cool. And the Retro Rock is still standing there, but he won't be there for uh, that long of time. So I went into my Malamar to maybe get a sweep off or anything. And uh, yeah, that doesn't happen. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Foco goes for Protect and I knew it would do that because that's what Swello likes to do the first turn. So, And uh, Rodon goes for a Thunderbolt on the Red Rock. I was actually going for a Superpower on the Red Rock. That's why I went for a Superpower right here. But I only can hit the Rodon because the Red Rock has died already. So, And Rodon is a Ghost Typing so it didn't have any kind of effect. So right here, they're all facing on this um, on this uh, Flareon to die and I knew they would kind of do that. No, actually I didn't, but I just wanted to swallow that because it's really annoying and it's really powerful. So I get my attack and defense boost right here because of Contrary, which is really good. And Falco would die in two burns. And right here we got Xena. Ah, this thing, this is the Psycho Shift boosted uh, well psycho shift user with flame warp and well <laughs> this was just a useless turn because I went for a superpower on the 
Falco on the uh, Swallow. And I think Rodan went for a Thunderbolt on the Swallow as well, but now she goes for me. And uh, the facade kills me off, so that's pretty annoying. They all face on me, but that's cool. So, uh, I think the Xena, the Xatu went for a Psycho, psycho Shift on the Melamar, because they thought Melamar was the biggest threat on the field, and it was right then. But now, for me, the biggest threat is Rodem, because I only got a, uh, whatchamacallit, a Torque left. And uh, yeah, it can do a lot. So, I really need that Rodem to be gone, because it really hit, hits my baby burn, baby burn damn hard. And it just, yeah. So, Xena goes for a Psycho Shift on the Rodem, and I just go for a uh, Flamethrower right there, because I just want this... Um, I don't need to touch the uh, Shredinia because it can take the Rotom out and it uh, used Endure and it can't touch me too much because uh, one of its steps is resisted and Shadow Sneak would, wouldn't do too much damage. So that's cool and uh, I go for Protect as well because I don't want the Rotom to kill me off which it probably wouldn't have because this Shadow Sneak is just going to kill it. Because it's stab and uh, all that stuff and Rotom is weak to it because it's a ghost type. So that's pretty cool. We're looking great right now. I only got my Torkoal left but uh, the other Pokemon can't really touch me. I can't get burned. Um, well yeah that's all about it. So pretty swell is coming in right here and I know Swallow goes for protect first turn because that's what they like to do all the time every day every day. So I go for a Probably, yeah, I go for a flamethrower on the um, on the Xatu and the Xatu use Psycho Shift on the Shidinia, which would die next turn because... Oh, this is the funny part. I go for a flamethrower on the Xatu and I get a freaking burn. Like, what the fuck? It already has a flame orb, so it doesn't even need a burn. Burn, baby, burn, what are you doing? I know there's burn in your name, but you don't have to burn when it's not even necessary. And the uh, Shininja dies unfortunately enough, uh, but it couldn't really do a lot to anyone, so yeah. And the Swallow is, gets its Toxic Orb activated, so I go for Protect here because I don't want to take any kinds of damage and I need the Leftovers Recovery because I'm playing it safe right now. And uh, well, I think Satu is down uh, as well right now, so it's 1-3-1. Swallow versus Burn, maybe Burn my defensive wall, but Swallow is just so OP that it eventually wins. Spoil, spoil. But um, yeah, it is kind of looking good. L depends on the damage I get from the flamethrower. And I don't get really nice tips. And right here I was planning something. Uh, oh no, I first off this one I go for protect and what I should have done was go for, going for a double protect because the toxic would have taken it out but I wanted to be funny and go for a flamethrower on my teammate aka opponent on Ambisol which is already down but um, well Swallow kills me so that <laughs> didn't happen so this is really close it is going to be close right here the leftovers uh, I mean the facade with a mineral could possibly take me out but look unfortunately enough he doesn't get a mineral and my burn baby burn dies so that was the game, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, it was really cool and uh, I will post some more uh, free for alls in the future and I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching it, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff and uh, i see you guys in my next video, later.